just told you, girl, um, today is um, December the 1st. It's my last day here in um, Pittsburgh with my little dude. Um, it's Monday. Um, I told you last night. Um, one of them was the most. Right. So we're at this little restaurant called Hazel's um, in downtown yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah. 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 And it's pretty crowded. It's pretty crowded. So um, that must mean it's really good. And the prices are super, super affordable, too. Um, I hear it's my little dude. Say good morning. Say good morning. You know how much $800 could be in video Yeah, game? but anyways, guys. Okay, the food is here. And I've already kind of started eating already. But it looks kind of like the food at the other place. It's the same, like, only thing is I only got one pancake instead of three. As if I needed the more, the extra carbs, right? And potatoes. And sausage shits. And eggs. Carbs, protein, protein, carbs. Papa's got the same thing. He always gets his dad got the same thing that I get because he's just being a biter. And I got a pink. But anyways. Did I get this before? This place when emptied out really fast, didn't it? It was like really crowded. I don't know. This room was really crowded before. Anyways, um oh, I thought you got it. So we're gonna probably just eat. This is a late breakfast and then probably try to catch oh, a yeah, matinee. You know, because I gotta get up super freaking oh, early in the morning, which sucks. I'm gonna miss time with my pop right, baby? Yeah. yeah. We've had a we had a nice time though, right? Right? Yeah. Last night, Papa was like, he was like, Mommy, when can you have a baby? Like, right? He was like, when's the earliest you can have a baby? I was trying to understand what he was trying to say. I was like, well, girls have babies, like, really young, like, 13, even younger. And Papa was like, Papa was like, so you've been pregnant since you were 13? I said, no. I said, I didn't have you till I was 30. He said, yeah, so you was pregnant since you were 13. I said, no, I had you when I was 30. <laughs> that was kind of funny. She told me that you had me when she was 30. When she turned 30, then she got married with you. Then, you know, in two months, then I... Um, it was not, no two months after that. You didn't, you didn't get... You didn't get pregnant until. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, so yeah, that's something me and Papa was talking about last night. It was just kind of funny, just him asking me silly questions and trying to convey what he was trying to say, right, Papa? And then he was like, so he was like, so who's my real dad? Because you and Daddy's not married no more. Then who's my biological dad? I was just like, what the hell are you talking about biological dad? Because you're married. He was like, because you're not married no more. So Papa, there's a lot of people that have kids that are not married. Just because you get divorced doesn't mean that. Just because you're divorced doesn't mean that. Um, that's not your dad no more. So you told me not to say that. You told me not to let my dad in the I said, don't don't ask your dad that. That's what I'm saying. Are you my daddy? <laughs> Papa can eat, can he? He's just munching down. Anyways, let me eat before my food get cold. Well, I got time because, you know, David eats super fucking slow, so. I got lots of time. Oh, did you want to see what I, you want to see my, oh, I already showed you my food. But yeah, so this is basically it for right now. Um, I'm trying to make a few more clips later. It's, it's cold outside today. It's like 40 degrees. And, um. It was 60, I think 65 yesterday. It got really warm yesterday. And I know, like, that's not really warm, but that's warm for here, so. Um, but yeah, I'll make a few other clips throughout the day. Um, I have three uh, days in my camera that I have to still edit, so. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there, and I'll see you guys all later today. <clears throat> Excuse me if I have food in my teeth. I think my feels done so bad, you guys. Isn't this like straight tacky? But I keep saying, let me wait till I get home and have my procedure done. And I don't know how I'm gonna feel about going to the feels done. So I figured, let me wait. It's the very last minute, the day before I have to have my procedure anyone else. Anyways, we just ate and I'm full. But I'm not stuffed, but I'm full. I honestly think I've only worn my corset like three or four days while I've been here. And so yeah. Huh? I said I wonder why. And I have two at home waiting for me, which I'm excited to do reviews on those corsets once I get home. I'll try to do those um, maybe 
maybe on Wednesday I'll probably try to do those. Um, what else did I want to talk about? What awards was that? The BET Awards? No, what do you guys think? The, the Soul Trainer. Oh, that's right, the Soul Trainer Awards. What do you guys think about Jodeci's performance? Like, literally, like, why the hell are you going to come back and do this whole freaking reunion that everybody's freaking raving and waiting for and you freaking come back lip singing? That was just straight tacky, man. It just, it sounds so freaking tracky in, in, in anyways. It was just straight track. Like, really, though? And at the end, they're all, you know, yeah, we thought we'd just come back and give you guys a taste. That wasn't a freaking taste. You know? Oh, freaking, oh, that was a sniffing smell. That was, I mean, I was just like, oh my gosh, that is so freaking tacky. Seriously. And I, and I know we all love Jodeci. Of course we do. We all fucking love Jodeci. But the point is, is that they, why lip sync? Like, seriously. And I think most of the people that performed last night were lip syncing, which I just think is, I don't get it. If you're such a great artist, why can't you just sing? I don't get it, right? Well, that's what Soul Train is about. I don't care. Lip -sync. I don't care. <clears throat> if a person wants to see, is that even considered performing? Is that a, is that actually considered a real? Did you enjoy performance? the show? Yeah, Did you the enjoy fact, the awards? it was cool. But I didn't okay, like the fact that everybody fun. was lip singing. It's like, don't you want to see how people sound live? You know, if I wanted to hear a track, I would just go play the CD. Hear, I would put a Pandora in. Like I'm just saying. Go to a concert. I'm gonna go to a concert. Anyways, <laughs> um, we're about to get out of here. Um, let me know what you guys think about the. What, what, you, what you guys think of? I actually thought it was good. I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed Wendy Williams. I, I thought she she made a good host. To Tamar, I don't know about her though. I don't know about her. Like I don't I don't like what she was wearing on the red carpet. I was just like, what the heck? I don't know. I'm just not a fan of Tamar. Tamar, Tamar. I'm not a fan of her. Period. Chris Brown's performance was good. He was live, huh? He was probably alive, huh? Chris Brown did really good, but he's always been a pretty good performer. Little Kim's performance at the end. Little Kim and um, the Brad was there, and who else? Their performance. Their performance was Missy live. Ellie. Missy Elliott. Yeah, their performance was live. You could tell that they was freaking live. But everybody else just sounds so freaking tracked up. It wasn't even funny. Like really though. Like. I mean, I think the best thing about seeing somebody perform live, or what you think is live, is that they go out of, off the track, you know, and they kind of add it a little bit. Of I did want to say this, though, and I haven't said it since I've been here, but people are really, really nice here. <laughs> I will say that, like, I mean, on my runs, I would not pass someone that it is like, everyone was really, really friendly, and you know good morning good afternoon and I, I just i just think that's just that that's just awesome because i'm not saying that california is mean they but I, I think they're not mean in california i'm just saying people here are just really nice and i just think that's just amazing that's just awesome you know i mean i mean i think when you <laughs> huh bubba's what do you want to do next we're gonna go find a um a theater i just think it's, it's just awesome it's a good quality you know to be I'm nice and really? hospitable and to you know I mean it's a good quality to have you know um and I think you don't see it enough you know and so I think but but yeah I did want to mention that because I know that I I know that I didn't say anything about it since I've been here I haven't mentioned that and I keep forgetting to mention that people are so freaking friendly and nice here you know I don't know if it's because it's a like small town. This is because it's a small town, right? Or what? Big or maybe, or maybe better. big cities. Or maybe big cities tend to be more no. self-involved, or, or I don't know. East Coast is more friendly than the West Coast. Anyways, I just wanted to, I just wanted to emphasize how friendly and nice people are. You know, I mean, so, I mean, because I mean, there's times. I mean, and I guess it goes no matter where you are. I mean, you're going to have, you, you could easily say hi to somebody and they not respond to you or whatever. You know, you can pretty much get that everywhere. But ev everywhere here, people have just been really, really nice and, you know, spark up some small conversation. And, and I, I just think it's really, really, it's really good. And so, um, I wanted to mention that while I was, while it was in my head, so.
Go behind there, Papas. Go behind there. <laughs> you look that happy, huh? <laughs> I don't get to take a picture of you like that. I didn't take a picture. I, I didn't take a picture. We're gonna see Big Hero 6 because Papa wants to see that. It literally, literally starts in 10 minutes. And this theater is like really, really crowded. It's super tiny too. Big Hero 6. We just got out of the movie right now. That was a good movie. Come Papa. It was a, it was a good, was a good movie. It was a funny movie. Papa said it was a funny. Can you see Papa back there? Over here, Papa's. Okay, yeah. Papa's, Papa really liked it. I really liked it too. It was a good movie. I think that's probably basically it for today though for us because it's freaking cold. It's 36 degrees. It's colder than it was when we went in. I think earlier it was like 40. So it's colder now. So we're just probably going to go back to the house and just like chill because I have to get up so early tomorrow which sucks. I'm just sitting here at Papa's. Um, and David just went to the store really, really fast. Um, I'm getting so sad. Just the thought that uh, I'll be leaving like in the morning, you know. It sucks. And while we we're um, watching the movie Puppas, he leaned over to me and said, Mom, it's sad that you have to leave t tomorrow. And I was just like, oh, it just got me all teary eyed. There's been, you know, several days where right before he goes to sleep, he's like, Mommy, how many more days before you leave? And it's like counting the days down and, you know, a couple days he went to sleep crying and I just felt so sad, you know, but I have to leave eventually. He came here um, during the summer and begged me, he begged me, begged me, could he stay, you know, for the school year. Um, he hadn't been doing that great in school near me and, and so I thought maybe you know if there was a chance he could do better in school then you know let me just see if it works out or whatever because I mean him doing well in school is one of the most important things to me you know he needs to make he needs to do well in school and so um, I'm hoping that he decides to come back after this school year I'm really really hoping he does there was a um, a moment I would say maybe three four days ago where he wanted to come back and I was going to try to see if I could get him on a flight with me but you know he talked to his dad I, I had him talk to his dad to make sure that he really really wanted to come back home you know at the same time I didn't want him to have to fly out on a different flight so um so yeah so he talked to his dad decided he would stay so um which I'm, I was hoping he would stay because I, I don't I just don't my only thing is I don't want him to fly by himself, and his dad can't take the time off work to fly him out there, which is what he usually does. Like he'll go out there and fly out there and get him. And so I'm just figuring if he decides that he really, really wants to come back home, then I'll fly out here and get him. And so, um, and so yeah. So that was just the touch on on that because I know a lot of you guys are asking me about that, and people are commending me on my relationship, you know, with my ex-husband, I don't know if you guys know that I was, we were actually married for a few years, and uh, we've been divorced almost five years now, and I'll assure you guys, because a lot of you guys on, uh, hit me up on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll tell you guys, we have come a long, a long, long way. It wasn't always like this. It was nowhere near this. I couldn't even look at David, let alone talk to him, so um, this... I do for my son. It's as simple as that. I do all this for my son. And so, um, but anyways, I feel like I'm getting a little sappy, so I'll leave it there. Um, again, if you guys have any other questions or anything you want to ask me, um, go ahead. Talk to you guys later.